seems little bit uh, tilted uh, but I don't think we can't do much about it in yesterday's session we did the face we completed the face part and we did uh, the hair also almost uh, now uh, in today's session we will be uh, doing uh, maybe the headgear and the decorations on her head and if time permits the rest of her uh, you know ornaments and that is all actually her uh, t-shirt I mean her uh, blouse is white only so uh, the, that space can be left white the color patches are intentional yes they are intentional that is how uh, a layered watercolor painting finally looks like you can see uh, other watercolor artists also that is how watercolor painting is done you can see patches it is it is the layers of the you know different layers of the watercolor that i have applied over time it's awesome awesome thank you and welcome to this session i'm taking a little bit of burnt sienna uh, to to this part a little bit is required here i hope you are able to see and my hand is not covering yeah my hand is not covering the picture nope i paint watercolor myself try blending techniques no okay uh blending technique is different uh and i am using layering watercolor technique okay so in this technique uh you can blend a little bit in the middle of the layer that uh, you know in the same layer but not uh, between layers okay when the first layer has dried then only we apply the second layer uh, we work with the second layer and in the second layer we don't uh, try to blend uh, the paint with the layer that is lying beneath all right uh, so here i will do the outlines here yeah, i am layering what in layering water uh, color techniques only no it's uh, it, it might be different i don't uh, know i am using maybe you don't know but we can use wet on wet while yes yes i have used wet on wet i have used wet on wet the first layer has dried in in the wet on wet only the first layer has dried then i have applied another layer but that was not wet on wet the next layer was not wet the first wash was wet on wet we will just sketch this uh, outlines a little bit there there are a series of such chains that run through this headgear so uh, yeah if i did it second time as well then it will yeah exactly then i would have blended yeah no in the first layer if you have uh, suppose you have uh, painted the first layer in that you have blended but in again then in the next layer um, i won't be blending i hope uh, that is what you do as well if if something different is there i would like to learn from you and uh, i already thank you for imparting the knowledge
okay uh, so there are divisions okay partings i would paint it with a light lemon yellow so that the partings are first done then i will go with the beads am i covering the picture just tell me am i covering the picture i should not be doing that if that is happening just let me know wow it's amazing thank you so much manish and thanks for joining uh, so uh, whatever you learn from this class you can create yourself as well i'll be very happy to see your version and uh, that way if you create my, any of my artworks from this session i put post them on my youtube channel that way you also qualify for uh, participating in my giveaway okay you have to read through the rules of the giveaway also because there are other simple rules that you have to follow mm, but in that giveaway i have kept a small contest where you have to recreate one of my artworks from my youtube channel one of my youtube uploads so uh, today it was a little late guys thank you artistic girl 222 you know 222 is a angel number <laughs> i believe in all this 222 is an angel number do you know the meaning of 222 all angel numbers have some good significance that much i know but even i don't know what is the significance of 222 you can find it out and tell me <laughs> so are you guys recreating my works are you guys uh, learning uh, you know or uh, trying to implement the learnings from the sessions if so i would be very happy to know you just have to let me know by posting and tagging and that way you can participate also in my giveaway why ma'am giving black shades in the face i haven't given any black shade in the face i have avoided as much as possible and uh, i'm showing you the original picture there is a sharp jaw line you know sharp jaw line which has this very dark i have never used black in throughout i have used a uh, prussian blue and uh, burnt umber to do the jaw line i have not used black okay and it is not complete yet Okay. I myself don't recommend using a uh, direct uh, black anywhere to do the contours. Okay. So a little bit of uh, vermilion vermilion can be taken with uh, okay what i am using for the painting this beads it's uh, cadmium yellow uh, okay it's cadmium yellow there are little orange shades and my palette does not have an orange so i am mixing vermilion with the uh, cadmium yellow okay and i'm taking very less water at this point of time because i don't want to create a wash i just wa want to directly go to the details after this it should not be this much red also i lift this much
so I'm right over filling the space out right now the details will be taken care of later if I go you know strip by strip it will take a lot of time I'm using Montmartre detailer brush number one Okay, I hope it is my meticulous artist. Uh, what language was that? It's uh, meticulous artist means. Uh, um, is it French? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. Hello Sujana, welcome. Okay, uh, and uh, this belt has a scarlet patch. So I will do the scarlet patch here. It is becoming difficult to paint this way because of the orientation of my camera. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Sujana. Okay. Uh, now we will do these... What is it called? I don't know what they call it. I am using burnt umber. It's black only. Jet black. But I am using burnt umber. Again, directly not using black. There is a little bit of shade also. There is this glossiness of these sticks. Okay, I'll call it stick. Such a lovely painting, very inspirational. I hope I am able to, you know, uh, help you uh, pick up watercolor portraits, and uh, that would be my achievement, you know, if you if I am able to help you the littlest with uh, with my little knowledge in this domain, because I mainly, you know, I'm. I feel comfortable doing portraits. I'm, I'm like con confident with portraits. So I want to sketching thing. Uh, I'm thinking of a class. You know, I'm thinking of a class where I can teach sketching from the very beginning, everything about portrait. But for designing that, I will be requiring some time. The designing the course. You know, and other ways of you know uh, making portraits with other media like uh, colored pencils, graphite, you know, acrylics, all this media. Hi, Hema, hand, hand me, hand and me, hand and me. Hi, Hema. What's up? How are you doing? Okay, so I have used burnt umber for these sticks. And guys, if you feel that you have missed out the session from the beginning, things are recorded and up on my YouTube channel. Link is on my bio. Yesterday's, I'm really, really sorry. Yesterday's file um, could not be saved. Yesterday's recording. And yesterday's was crucial actually. Hey, some finish touch left in the face. Yes, yes, yes. Finishing touches left over all. Thanks for pointing out. It's left. Good evening. Good evening, Anjali. Uh, 
and the face part was done yesterday and uh, and it could not be saved and uh, hence could not be uploaded on my youtube channel so I'm um, feeling a little bad about that low mass difficilis uh, okay okay <laughs> Karabajalorosa. Uh, can you translate whatever you are saying in English? I don't understand this language. Tantas figuras geometricas grand artista. Uh, although I really appreciate uh, you joining my live session, but I am not getting what you are trying to tell me. Okay. So are you guys just watching or simultaneously making the painting also? Okay, now uh, I'll be switching back to the Montmartre detailer number zero and uh, I'll be doing these beads. Okay. I'm using cerulean blue and that is the shade here in the picture it becomes a little darker when for applied I am hoping it to dry into a little lighter shade and uh, it's uh, the brush is not much wet with paint uh, sorry water it's loaded with paint which type of paper you are using now it's a general paper and that's what I don't recommend anyone to use. It's not a watercolor grade paper and uh, it's not specific, specifically meant for watercolor. It's a scholar store uh, book, sketchbook, uh, where you know, you can use graphite, charcoal, colored pencils, also watercolor washes. Since the washes are not very heavy, I feel I can go with this and that's why I'm using it right now. What, what style of art do you do? Uh, artistic girl 222. What style of art do you do? That is my question for you. What media do you generally use? I think artistic girl 222 has left. Hi RTZ. What 
water color, color pencils, pencil shadings. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. That's great. Okay, can you also can you also Okay, I'm waiting for your question to complete. Visit my profile. <laughs> yes, I can do that. I can do that. Uh, but uh, I request everyone to not put these requests on um, my live sessions. Okay. I can do that. Now uh, I'll be taking a little bit of Prussian blue to do the center of the, the beads that I have left white. In the middle it is white only. And that is, it's a very thin strip of white and dark Prussian blue around. Okay. So it takes a lot of time for doing the beads. That is the thing. And the details. There is a lot of details. I felt initially that uh, this will complete uh, soon. This could be completed soon, but that is not the case now, I feel. It's gonna take some time. It's really gonna take some time. Because it has too many details of the you know, beads. Basically, her jewelry. Her ornaments. I'm doing these these parts with Prussian blue. I'm, hope, I hope, I'm hoping that you are able to see. If not, please let me know. Okay, so this part of the beads has been done. Now there is this checkered beads that has to be done. I will first, uh, it has lemon yellow on the borders and uh, Prussian blue at the center. And so I will first do the wash of lemon yellow first so that you know it's not difficult for me to uh, create the checkers, checks, I mean. With Prussian blue. Prussian blue is a darker shade, of course. So. Now tell me, it uh, this ornament looks really flat. What I need to do here? Tell me. This ornament looks very flat and looks very set on her skin. 
but there is a little bit of lift for that what do I need to do so basically I will be uh, using some dark brown shades darker shades of brown and give it the required lift when before that I will do her earrings also light wash of grey very light uh, very lightly I lift uh, some grey uh, black so that it gives a wash of grey these are very thin strips It's uh, sometimes difficult to control the amount of uh, pigment coming up on, on the tip of a very fine brush like this. So we have to be a little careful while doing that. It's a detailer brush. So Hello Anagha and Arts. Hello Anagha. Okay. Okay, so as I said, the cerulean blue when I applied it was very dark, but now it has dry. When it has dried, it looks a little lighter, a way more lighter than you know, uh, and it looks good. Now I have to create the lift. For that, I'm taking burnt umber. No, I will be taking Prussian blue. Not burnt umber. I will be taking Prussian blue, and just watch this part yeah. it's a kind of dry brush this part of the jewelry okay now I need water to make it look lighter that is that is the thing about this brush it picks up a lot of water uh, a lot of paint on it so I'm giving the lift. The Prussian blue has to be very light so that it just looks like a shadow, nothing else. Okay. Which brush are you using? Uh, right now for the detailing I'm using this Montmartre Detailer brush number zero. Okay, now I will be taking a little bit of burnt umber from my palette and I'm using brush stroke watercolors or tubes so you can check that out. Okay, the same line of the shadow which I created with for Prussian blue earlier. I just applied some burnt umber now I will be again doing this earring these are all dangling earrings hi Trina hi Zainab Shashank also joined
Niharika. Thanks, Niharika. Now, uh, let me check if this center has dried. It is almost dried. I can use the Prussian blue here to do the checks. Okay. So it's basically a zigzag and not a check. It's the weaving of the braid of, you know, the braid of threads and that has created this necklace, neck piece, whatever you call it. In braided pattern. So I'm doing the zigzag. This painting requires a lot of patience. You can get the picture from Pinterest, guys. The same image. Just uh, you have to do a little bit of search of, of Longding Tribal Girls. You, directly it won't come. You have to probably have to. Hi, Shubham. Thank you. And uh, probably you have to first uh, go uh, to Naga. You have to do the Naga, girl, Naga Tribal Girl search. And. Uh, you know as a consequence of searching through the images you can get to this image or otherwise if you want to recreate this artwork you can dm me i can send you the image in your dm hi chetna thank you so much Okay, uh, now it's time to give a lift from this region also because it looks flat again. So what I will do, I will first take a little bit of burnt sienna and do, do this lining followed by that uh, I will take a little bit of burnt umber because burnt sienna is not creating much contrast. So I'll take burnt umber here, a little darker brown. It's rightfully a darker shade of brown. Again, I have just taken some water and I'm extending it, blending it out like this. Okay. Now trying to give a lift from this part as well. The earring has to be detailed uh, that is remaining. We will do definitely do that. This lift is being created using burnt umber and a small lining of it. So I have used water here. So when, when you want to create light wash, you take water more, you, you know, you load your brush with more water. And when you want to create a bolder wash, you take more paint. That's the simple equation.
I hope I'm able to help you guys learning watercolor portraits. And in watercolor, uh, I, I would recommend you, uh, I mean, I would suggest you not to bother about very minute details. At least when you are beginning with. Because it's difficult to create heavy details using watercolor. It's very difficult. It, I won't say it is impossible, but it's difficult and it's time consuming and takes a lot of patience. Okay. Now, of course, a lot of learning is also there in the background. So, I practice. And these, the holes of this mesh, they have to be little darkened so that they give the impression that it is, it has a lift. It is, it is not touching the body. It is not, it's just a, not a paint on the body. It, it's a piece that is worn on her neck, around her neck. And it has a certain amount of volume on its own, of its own. Small, so small details create a lot of difference. It's already giving the feeling that it, it is not you know, pasted on our skin. See? give some room to the white also but it's a little difficult to do that because the holes are very small and nearly unnoticeable Okay, so I did it with burnt umber. And further darkening is required. I I feel that I have this feeling. But then right now can't be done. We will do the tie of her bow bun. Sorry. And we will end the session with that. Next, we will continue tomorrow. Maybe we will do the arm, arm and armlets as well. And this part and this uh, headgear and the further details maybe in the next sessions. Because we already started late today. It is because of some glitch with the application I was facing. Instagram. So uh, this tie of her 
Uh, bun is a pink, so I will take a light magenta. Okay, I'll take the light magenta and do the tie. Oh, that is how it is done in watercolor you want to create a light shade you, you know, make you take a diluted for you know diluted version of that paint from your palette and if you want to create a darker shade of the same you know, take a darker you know, you know create take the take more paint and less water i repeatedly say that because uh, sometimes beginners might end up using the whites that has been provided in the set of uh, watercolor pan but uh, that white is just to create a gouache just to create gouache effect of uh, of the watercolor paint when you want to use your watercolor as a gouache you can use that white but in transparent technique it is not recommended to use the white and black is also not recommended equally because transparent watercolor technique is basically uh, you know, transparent it's the luminescence is the um, you know signature of this uh, painting style or painting medium so if you use black right away black is the most opaque shade you know, on your palette so that will create huge contrasts some people were asking if I have used black on the face no I haven't used black but see Prussian blue can give you the effect of black you know burnt umber can give you the effect of black if you use it properly or uh, in mixtures oh, sorry just dropped my phone okay yeah so this is a fringe the other fringes can be done with black because they are very narrow and very fine not narrow they're very fine lightly using the black this fringe is still wet so I won't put any color over here across this fringes you can do the st uh, strands of hair using your finest detailer of course scale is required sometimes I end up you know making you know thicker lines than required and that, that requires a lot of control of hands which which I have to master and see if, as I'm practicing daily I'm hoping that I will master that Okay, so the hair part is almost done, and uh, you know, 
also running late. It's 10 11. A little bit of lag here and there. And uh, there is some messiness here also. That will be created tomorrow. We will do that tomorrow. There is a little bit of messiness and you know, fringes and small hair strands working out here and there. We will do that tomorrow. So for today, this was the session. And it was, I think it was, it was a little shorter than usual one hour session because we joined, we started a little late. It was uh, almost 9.30 when I started the session. So for today, we will keep it till here. Again, see you tomorrow, guys. And thanks for joining.